So today we are going to start lead code question by expert Honda. So let's begin from here. Let's read the question. Today question we have 2246 saying longest path with different adjacent characters. So let's uh, begin from here by reading the question. So the question is is what? Question is saying you are given a tree. That's good. Now it's saying it is a connected on directed graph and has no cycle. Means all nodes are connected. You can see in the example here, all nodes are connected. This node, this node, this node, all nodes are connected with each other. Now it is saying undirected means we do not have given the direction like this. Okay. And has no cycle and it is not maintaining any cycle like this. This is not connected and it is not making the cycle. That's good. And rooted at node 0 means this root is what? Root node. Okay. Next it is saying consisting of n node number from 0 to n minus 1. If there is n node is given means we have uh, how many nodes we have? 0 to n minus 1. If 0 to n minus nodes are given, right? And if they are connected means it is not maintaining any cycle, right? That we know the definition of the graph. Now it is saying that the tree is represented by 0 index array, right? And that is the parent of size n. Okay, there is a parent array, right? Name is parent array, and it contains of size of what n size we have. Okay, now saying parent of i is the parent of node i. So if someone will pass uh, parent of i, right? So he will get what parent of i, ith node, parent of ith node. You can say in our language. So if also let's see if we pass parent of 0 right so parent of 0 we don't have anyone anything right in the here right parent of 0 because because it, it's it's a root node right so if we'll talk about so let's see since 0 is a root node so we will get what parent equal to minus 1 because we don't have the parent right but if we'll pass uh, 2 let's see if we will pass parent at what uh, 2 so it will give what 0 as a parent if we'll pass parent at 1 we will get what 1 because uh, parent 1 we sorry sorry parent, parent at uh, 1 what is that it, uh, it is a, a root node and this is also a root node similarly if we we'll pass parent at what 5 so we will get what 2 because the parent is what this is 2 right like that we will get okay now Let's understand question. What question is saying? Let me give me one minute. I'll erase on. And then I'll coming back here. Okay. So now we are back here. So let's read the question next. What question is saying? Next question is saying you are also given back. Uh, you are also given a string S of length N. We have given a string. Let's see in the example. So this parent is given. Now string S is given here. Right. Okay. So a string S of I is the character assigned to node I. Okay. So each S of I means we have given S equal to what we have given in double code. We have given A, B, A, A, B, A, C, B, E. We have given. Correct. Now we have the parent node we also have. And if we'll talk about the parent node, we have given what? Minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Two. these are given right now understand s of i is the character assigned to node i okay so at no, node i what we have zero right let's understand node i let's i is i is zero so if someone is going to check s of i right so s of i have the assigned value what uh, s of i is a right so a is assigned to which node ith node and ith node we have got zero so if we'll go here and check we have a at the uh, of character right second time if we'll come to b right this is at what which location so this is at uh, if we'll go to uh, do parent of what uh, this one node right next node what we have at b we have zero right so its parent is what one's parent is uh, b right so we'll see that this is our parent and that's why we are getting b here similarly 
if you'll talk about the next what we have a right and this its parent is what this one uh, sorry its parent is this one and it is assigned what a and similarly it assign all the values character is assigned to node i okay now what we have to do we have to return the longest path in the tree that has no pair of adjacent node on the path have the same character assigned to them right so we have to find the path right so if we we'll, let me go back and it is this one right yeah now now my i have pen yeah now if you'll say the next line what is saying we have to find the length of the longest path return the length of longest path in the tray such that no pair of adjacent node on the path have the same character assigned to them no pair of adjacent node in the path on the path have the same character assigned to them okay okay so you can see that we have this longest path right where each two adjacent have the different character in the tree right so the path is what we have starting from zero right here and then we are going to what uh, this this character right so what we have we have uh, next node is one here we got a here we got what b right so next b and there is a b here in this direction b and this direction is what we have c so in the next direction we have to move what not four we should move to node three because we are getting c so three characters we have a b c are different character in this path okay so this length if you if you'll find this length it is what three we have but if you'll go to this length and uh, this path this is not good way right we cannot go in this way we should always uh, go to this way now if you'll go to in this direction we can't go because we are matching with the same characters we can't go in this direction right and so that uh, if we'll talk about this one so we got only one direction here and right and this direction have how many nodes we have three nodes we have so longest path if we'll talk about this one so the length of the path is three and so we are returning this three here so if there is longest path so you have to count like that only you have to oh, see to our next uh, character is is it matching or not with the current one if not matching then we will choose that path and we will count our uh, we will do counting okay so i think we are moving uh, we are traversing with the nodes right and that's why we should go either by dfs or bfs right so it is recommended to go dfs right because uh, if you'll find uh, from one node to its depth path right so we should go with dfs right and uh, from each we will go to depth one and we will find its path okay so let's continue in the coding on the coding browser let's go to the little coding browser so let's begin from here what we should do we have given parent and string s right we have given so we should create we, we should first find uh, uh, we have to take all its children right we, we, we should take adjacent node right i'll take adjacent c list this is our this will contain it's all the neighbors right of each node right so i'll take new has map i will take like this okay and you know that after creating the adjacency list what we have to, we have to say this is our uh, map right so map will contain each node right node is in integer we have given integer and what we have given uh, it's a list of uh, uh, nodes right so for each node we have a list of node right so if you we'll talk about index g, uh, root g, zero node so what we have we have multiple it's left child and right child so we'll take in the list and this is our what uh, integers list of integers as a residency list right if you not see if you're not aware with uh, the dfs we have already uh, done so many questions on dfs right you can go and see we used to do in this same way okay so first we have to always create a agency list right and then uh, we will move to we will add onto the agency list if the data we don't have so we will go all its node and we will maintain our we will initialize our uh, uh, what we can say node so i'll start with what uh, we can start with one right and all the nodes will start one and i should be less than what uh, its length right so length if you we'll talk about the length length is uh, 
parent node right so we have parent dot length and then we will go to i plus plus okay next we have the uh, what we have we have its value right so in the urgency we will do urgency list we have to update our urgency so as earlier uh, study we have did the same way right if compute if it is present on on the uh, map right what we will do we will pass parent and then we have to pass i and uh, we have to take its all the uh, uh, node right all its neighbor neighbor node so what we have to do we have to take new array list and we will pass integer and then uh, all the we have to in, we have already in slice now we will add on to that uh, i we will add i right so all now if that is uh, because we have not given uh, as is right that's why we are adding all its node if as is given then we will get uh, node x and node y right and then we will add but we don't have so what we will do i is our node okay so this we have done now what we have to do same way as we have did uh, study we will do utility method we will find create a utility method and we will pass the zero as a root node then it, it doesn't have the parent right so <clears throat> Uh, we, we will not pass the parent right but all its we, we can pass all its agency list right so it will move to all agency list and the given string we have now now this function has been uh, written here right then we will return our length right so if we will talk about the longest path right what is our longest path we don't have right so I, we, we should take one longest path right here initially we'll take one variable right and we'll say that it this is our longest path longest path value is we'll take initial value one because if at least root we have to return right and uh, this will take private or public you take right so i'll take public and by default we will return this one after the function done okay this is done now if you see here right what we have did here we have taken a um, urgency list right and then we have taken we have initialized all its node onto the urgency list right all its uh, neighbor nodes and then we are doing dfs here but we have not created dfs filter method let's begin to here we will write public and uh, it will return what will nothing returning so we'll do white and then and uh, this error function right so uh, longest path we are doing here let's see what we should do okay or either what we, we can do here we can make uh, we will return int value here so that we will do return at the time at all the time okay because we, we, we are doing recursive so at least dfs uh, let's do it what we, we should do here we will move to all its uh, children and we'll see is, is the current node that we are passing that is our what uh, root so this is take a root a root at the node and urgency we know that what is urgency we have this is our map we have right so we can say this is our map okay so two things we have done now third thing is what string s and that we should pass at here okay three things is done now first of all all the nodes we have to check on the urgency list right so for that we have to make a condition and we'll say that if urgency list doesn't contains right contains key as a node it means it's not good right so we have to check not not contains right if it is not contents right or uh, if not contents right so what we have to do we have to return what one if doesn't contains okay otherwise what we have to do we have to find the longest path how we'll do that we will take a variable int and we'll say uh, uh, we, we should take uh, <coughs> variables to check 
the longest chain and uh, uh, and the other other chain right so that we will move its all its children and we will say which one is longest right so i'll say longest path longest path we can say that is our uh, on, on, the, on the all the node node we will say okay that will take in zero and we'll take another variable the second longest right second longest path right and that is our zero okay so which one is uh, we have to find actually this path right so we'll move to all its children and what we will do uh, we have the urgency list right this urgency list we have right so what we will do we will pass get and uh, we'll pass what our node we are traversing actually so it will return what uh, from the map it will return a list right list of node we will get okay so one by one we will take value and uh, we'll say that uh, if node we will pass we will get a list of node right so so for that we will say this is our uh, child node we can say this is our child node correct we can say that now what should do we have to go inside and we have to uh, get the number of nodes uh, which is in the uh, list right uh, either left or right so how we'll do that we will call dfs this dfs method we will call again that we have did and at the zero what we should pass we should pass child node agency is uh, we can uh, leave the agency here right so all all the uh, agency we will move to here only okay so from here what we will get our get we will get longest uh, chain right so we'll take a variable int longest chain path right we'll say longest chain path and uh, it is from and from child child node from child node okay we can say now what we should do longest path we will get right from the child that uh, child node that we have given right now what we should do we should uh, check we have to we will check uh, at s character right character is matching or not right so here we should check if s is given we have given so s if s contains right care at is a function we have to pass is if child node if current current node is what our node we have right so if current node contains the character that character right and this character should be exactly at what as at so we'll check at care at here and we'll check if node have right understood we have to pass the current node right and this child node we have to check at this current node and this child node okay so this is also done we'll check node and its child so node we have here and node we have multiple child right so left and right so we will go it will check all the child if both are same right in that case in that case we should not do anything right if it will not match then we will count we will uh, increment our counter right so here it will not not uh, consider that path correct if if match character matches character character matches right okay next what we should do now if character will not match then we will consider that uh, uh, that child right that kid okay now for that what we have to do we have to check if if this child node path if this child node path right is greater than this longest path let's suppose there's some value we have right so what we have to do we have to 
if both character is not matching, right? Let's see, both character is not matching. Left children have the uh, different value, and right children have the different value. Then we have to update our second path, right? How we'll do that? Second path is our longest path, right? Because we have to update our path, correct? If that is the case. Now, longest path we have to update, and the longest path is what? Our this longest node because now we have to update its path. We have to swap the value of the path. Else, what we should do? We should check if uh, the longest child that we are talking about we should take if else f and we'll say here. Uh, give me here. Yeah, the same value we should pass here. But we should check if it is greater than the second longest path. First, we have checked the longest path. Now, we'll check the second longest path. If that is the case, then the second longest path, the second longest path that we are talking about, is not the longest path. It should be update the second path. Got it? So, two paths we have taken and we will update our path. You can say A and B path also. A path, B path like that. Path 1, path 2 you can say, right? We will choose like that also. Now, the very important part is here. So, for each path, right? What we have to do? We have to find our maximum path. Which one is maximum? Right? Now, we have updated, right? So, once we have updation is done, right? Our loop is completed. Correct. Our loop is completed. Now, longest path we have and this path have some value. So, what we will do? We will call math dot max. Right? Math dot max. And we will pass our the longest path we have here. This you can take from here also longest path we have and the longest longest path we have and the where is the longest path this path value should be in the longest path okay we'll pass here longest path values then we, we should pass longest path plus we will do plus the second longest path this path if both path is here we will add and we have to add plus one for the current one for itself from where we will calculate either you can say root or something else so this is done right so finally if we'll do plus more we are at here plus one and then whichever is the maximum we will return from here right or either either what we should do we should say the longest path we have right longest path that path value we have with this one we will update its value and then we will return longest path plus for itself right let me compile this so this is not matching why we have taken long we have to update this one this value we have to update actually yeah that's all no changes only there is one changes that is the longest path, right? Let's submit. Yeah, it's working. Thank you so much, guys. Please let me know. It's uh, we have already did so many DFS questions, right? So what what should be the complexity for this problem? Thank you so much.